we'll move on to talk about the, um, the, the patient who comes in who actually has symptoms. And there's been some um, debate over the years about whether new drugs should be used immediately and if they should be used, uh, whether one or two, sorry, whether two or three drugs should be employed together. So Dr. Lonnie, was there anything at this meeting about treating, let's start with the younger patient who might be destined for transplant. Did you see anything at this meeting that was new and exciting or interesting in this area? Well, I think, um, you know, I, I think that there are sort of two, uh, most of us I think have agreed that three is probably better than two for, for most transplant eligible patients. So just to interrupt, so I'm a community oncologist. I've been using bortezomib and dexamethasone for the last five years. I'm comfortable with it. Are you telling me I got to stop doing that and add, th add another drug now? I would recommend that, yeah. Would everybody agree with that? or is General, I'd use three drug therapy. So we have, for once in myeloma, some consensus. Everybody thinks three drugs is good. I, you know, this, uh, which this three is, drugs? I just wanted to bring one thing about, you know, when you look at the first trial, it showed two drugs, lenormide and dexamethasone. Right. Did very well, and it was a large international trial. Right. And when you look at, there was also, with the bortezomib-based regimen, called upfront trial, where they did bortezomib, dexamethasone, and VTD, and MPV, and all those comparison. When you look at the survival outcome at three years, all of them come out equal. The complete response rate is different. Probably the PFS is slightly different. But the overall survival, you know, these studies are not 10 years out. But if you look at them at three years, they are all coming out same. So just on that basis alone, it would be very difficult to say you have to use three drugs. But those are frail older okay. patients. Well, well let's, let's get real here. Well, what's, what's right. your, uh... And in the younger patient, for a minute, you give only four cycles of induction and then you do the transplant. Whether you did two drugs, you know, or you did three drugs, or you did four drugs, and then you did the transplant, I'm not sure that matters as much as if you follow it up with the maintenance therapy too. I don't think you are able to show just the doublet somehow did not help or harm the patient. So I don't want it to be absolutely categorical in saying that everybody should be using triplet regimen and the triplet regimen should be bortezomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone because one is imid, one is prodisome inhibitor, the other best, alkylating agent, well, not well, so good, and then the dexamethasone. Dr. What do you Jagannath, feel about Dr. that? Dr. Jagannath, you're, you're like a, a world authority on treating these patients and people look up to you. What do you use for your patients who are newly diagnosed? I'm using, Going for transplant. Yeah, I'm using three drugs, bortezomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone. Absolutely right. Now, but at the same time, why I'm using it, because my principle is that you're exposing the patient to one proteasome inhibitor, one immunomodulatory, one steroid. You want to give all classes of drug because multiple myeloma has multiple clones. And so you want to be able to cover most of the clone, especially in the newly diagnosed first-time treatment. So that is the approach. But on an evidence-based medicine, what I'm saying is the first trial data is still very good. Yes. You know, that's what I wanted so, to say. So I have a question for Dr. Lonel, then Dr. Bernson. And, and for Dr. Lonel, if, if I'm watching this and I don't live in the United States, it's not possible to give uh, lenalidomide as frontline therapy. So what uh, triple therapy regimen would you recommend to our colleagues in Europe and South America? Yeah, so I think that's a great question. And, and that same debate, I think, occurs here in the U.S. as well. And that is, what's the better partner? Is it an IMID or uh, cyclophosphamide? Um, and I think in Europe, the choices are probably VTD, thalidomide with bortezomib and dex, versus VCD, cyclophosphamide with bortezomib and dex. And there is some data in ASH 2014 from Dr. Cavo, who looked back at a large series of patients treated on two European trials, suggesting that the CR and VGPR rate for VTD was superior to VCD. So I think if you want to look at responses pre-transplant, and that's what the trial looked at, it would favor the imid proteasome inhibitor combination. All right, very good. Now, Dr. Bernstein, I want to bring in a new drug we haven't talked about yet, which is curfilzomib. And there have been some very nice data, which perhaps uh, you can briefly describe using curfilzomib with lenalidomide and dexamethasone. I want to get your um, impression of that regimen and, and where you think that will end up in the future. Uh, data that was actually from Keith Stewart's running the trial. And uh, very impressive data, very impressive results, international study probably survival advantage as well. 
Uh, obviously, the convenience of the schedule hopefully will change soon. What is soon. the schedule for the people who haven't uh, used the drug? Usually this drug is FDA approved is two consecutive days, three consecutive weeks. It's infusion. It's cumbersome. Uh, we're hoping that will change to weekly soon, maybe next year. Not with FDA approval, but with a lot of data. Now, Dr. Jakubowiak has studied this regimen in the frontline setting as Dr. Langren, too, in New York. And, and to me, at least, that's a very impressive uh, cocktail to use, even in the frontline setting. Would you agree with that? Or? I would agree, but I would also note a caution. We're not, we certainly have some issues, all of us, with the cardiac signal here, something that we do not see with Velcade or Bortezomib-based therapies. And although it's a rare event, it's a very dramatic event. Well, let's come back to that when we talk about this bar truck, because I think that would challenge a little bit what you, you just had to say. But I want to focus a little